Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. We are going to the top of a mountain. Why in the world we're going to the top of a mountain on a gondola? Actually, it's a condola. We'll tell you why we're heading up there in just a moment. Jump up! We did it! We did it, guys. We're on. We're on. And they're getting on behind us. You're scared? Don't be scared. Don't be scared, y'all. Do not be scared about. It's fine. It's gonna be totally great. How you doing, babe? They're doing pretty good back there. So, Zoo family, we're going to a place called Anakista, I think. Anakista, am I saying that right, Katie? I don't know. It's like a, um, it's almost like a theme park, and there's all sorts of fun stuff to do up the mountain. So you ride these cool chairs all the way to the top of the mountain, and then you have fun. They're doing pretty good back there, and so are we. You all right, Katie? I guess. I guess. It's a little high, right? Logan, you closing your eyes? No. Oh, you got your eyes open? Mm -hmm. You all right? Yeah. It's a little high. I'm not a heights person, really. And this is Why? full suspension. I don't look down much. In fact, I just look down. And it's a little nauseating, so I'm gonna look forward. I'm gonna choose to look forward. Hi, Mom! Hi, baby! What happens if my shoes fall? Will I never see them again? They're just chilling up there when we're like, ah, oh, this is what if. Like, we're having a lot of what if. Okay, Zoo family, we're here at the top of the mountain. About to hop off. Go, 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 go. Poor Daisy. Poor Daisy, I heard her screaming. Did you not like the motion, Sweet Pea? She's starving, I think. We'll see the photo a little later. We'll come back and see it. So, can you help me get her adjusted? Okay, let's get her adjusted. And then. while we hike. Okie dokie. As usual. Not all the norm. Nursing. Mid video. This is a nice place up here. It's cute. It's really cute. It's on par with any theme park you've been to. I mean, it's not as big, and they're doing constant expansions to it, but it's a pretty cool place up here. So I realize I'm not doing a great job of describing what this place is. Think of a theme park. It's up here on a mountain, and uh, the views are just stunning because of that. By the way, you can see we're wearing our face masks today. We kind of looked around, took an inventory of how many people were around, and we're being careful and covering up today because we're just around so many more people. But we're gonna make the most of it and we are here to do some treetop hiking. Wait till you see the bridge, the network of bridges they have here. It's just really cool. I really hope with these masks you can hear us, Zoo family, but this is called the gardens. Oh man, look at these mountains, they're gorgeous. Lou and I found a bench to swing on. Hi, baby cakes. Hi, baby cakes. You having fun? Huh? You having fun? This is it. Found it? Found your spot? Yes. <laughs> Wanna come sit? Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at this view, Zoo family. You can see right into the National Park. Yep. We'll be going through there. We'll be going through the National Park. <laughs> Actually, that direction. On Sunday. What are you getting, Katie? <gasps> and tell me about this. That this is an Indian thing. It's an Indian thing. It's, it, you would say it's the national bird of India, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wanted a peacock. When I told her this is what, what the bald eagle is to America, this basically is to India, she said, can I get it? And of course, yeah. I'm gonna take really good care of it. You're what? I'm gonna take good care of it. Take good care of it? Well, that's a good thing. Our Indian viewers will love hearing that. And what Aiden is it? Oh my gosh. Daisy Lou. Hi, honey. That's in the public, it's so hard. There's... 
with covers when it's so hot. Oh, oh boy. that's so cute. Baby Daisy's like, why do we have to cover? We don't cover at home. The view up here is amazing. Townsend, where we are, is somewhere back that direction. I think it's through that valley right over there. Beautiful, beautiful view. Totally worth it just for the view. We are so high. You can see all of Gatlinburg. It's beautiful here. We're also you guys, so hot. Yeah. <laughs> you guys gotta check out Anakista. Anakista Park if you're Pretty ever cool. in Gatlinburg. This is where hobbits live, guys. This is where Frodo lives. Okay, Zoo family, we're gonna do some gem mining. We've never done this as a family. Mom used to do this when oh, she would so go on times. little vacations when she was a little girl and her family would take like her. Every year. Every year. Oh, I didn't know it was an every year thing. Well, what it is is you sift out the gems in the water, or you sift out the dirt, and uh, hopefully you get some gems left over. Ooh. Ooh. Are we gonna be rich after this? Okay, Mom is gonna give out some dirt to everybody, and then we're gonna go we're one at a time, Mom. Whoa, Katie. Let's see what Katie got. I mean, you can see one massive thing in there. Mom, do you see this? Yeah. Oh, it's an amethyst. The oh. amethyst. Wow. Yep. Dad, Jackpot. That's... Okay, let's see. Okay. How did she get a big So she got, she got one gigantic geode, basically. Yep. And one little pebble. Okay. Let a little bit of water come in. Go up and down, oh, buddy. Yep, look it up. There you go. There you go. Oh, look at you. There you go. Wow. Wow, yeah. look at those, Tim. I got some too. Oh my goodness. Stuff. Caleb, whichever one you want to do. I'll do this. I'll do the one that's... Ooh. Ooh. Look at that green. That's pretty cool. Well, tell you what they are. Get some more water in there. There's a lot of dirt in there, so... Ooh, I see go a black... Go up and down. There you go. I Very cool, Caleb. You got some pretty stuff in there. Look at that. Okay, Logie Bear. Okay, shake it. Yep. Oh, good job. There you go. Oh, man. Look at that pink one, love. Look at that pink one. Oh, look at that bright pink one, too. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and this one is mom's. Oh, look at that pink quartz. Wow. Mom even knows the rock. Oh, look at that. I like the green one. I can't get over this. This is crazy. Look at that. I'm an ember. Man. Okay, all the remainder is going to be for Chloe and Daisy. Figuratively, of course. One will never use these and one is not old enough. One's walking on the streets of the gold. You don't one, need no One's gems. walking on the streets of the gold. That's right. A lot of pretty stuff in there. Chloe and Daisy got some pretty stuff. Yeah. They got look, lots of it. Look at this. It, it looks yeah. like nails. Look at that. Wow. This looks like a snail. It, I think it that is a snail shell. A little snail shell. We're about to go on to the, what is it called? Treetop Skywalk. There you go. Tree scup, bleh, I can't even see. Tree scup, sty stop. Treetop Skywalk. I'm smiling, but you can't see it. <laughs> Hi, little Lil. Hi, Daisy Lil. You look gorgeous, baby. Hi, Hi love. Hey. Get you covered up in the sun. Hi. This is our last one. So Zoo family, this is supposed to continue on, but they had a tree fall in April. Look at the piece of bridge down there. It was during a storm, so no one got hurt because no one was on it. This whole system of bridges is supposed to go on over there and over there. There's supposed to be seven more of them. So you can go to the other side and start from the other end, but I don't think we're gonna have time to do that today. Okie dokie, here we go, Daisy. And of course, mom runs. Daddy can't run with Daisy. She bounces around too much. We're just taking our time, aren't we, Daisy? We're just taking our time, huh? How you doing? You there? See, Daddy. Daddy. 
Nope. I'm used to staying at home. I'm used to being in the no air conditioning. Covers. With no covers on my face. All this stuff is so different, Dad. Oh. What's going on, Dad? Okay. Okay, Zoo family, so Ooh. we're done. And Ooh, breezy up here. now <laughs> we can take off our masks. <laughs> yep. So we're headed downhill and we are in a gondola this time, the closed gondola. I mean, these back bars behind me are open, so there's a nice breeze coming through. It's better than being out in those chairs exposed like them. So um, uh, they wouldn't let us all ride in here, even though our seventh person is so tiny and asleep on my chest, they have a limit of, of six people per car. When you get to be a big family, you find out you can't even sit together at restaurants during COVID. Like we we got separated at a restaurant; they wouldn't let us sit with our kids. We had to sit at a different table from our kids. Um, it's so weird. Uh, even that is so strange. I I don't think of social distancing as something you have to do from the people who live in the same in the same dwelling as you. I don't I don't know. Maybe that's just me. So, anyways, we're going to dinner tonight, and we were um, gonna go to a place called Dancing Bear. That is just a place we absolutely love, and uh, unfortunately, uh, we got a call saying that one of their employees uh, had to get tested for exposure to COVID. So they're shutting down the whole restaurant this weekend out of an abundance of caution, and we appreciate that. Um, uh, it's just a bummer because it's a place that we've celebrated birthdays before. It's really special to us. We come every time we come up here uh, to the Dancing Bear Bistro. We'll just have to figure it out tonight. We don't really know what we're going to do because it's Fourth of July weekend, and it's hard to get a reservation anywhere. And we had a reservation at this place, so we may end up ordering pizza because that may be all that's remaining available to us. So headed down the mountain now. I got Katie with me. I got this other princess in here. With the little chubby cheeks, out cold, you family having a having a nice nap. And everyone else is down in that gondola right in front of us. Hey, look. There's the Oberg Vettelberg. There's that train that we took. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! We're swinging. We're swinging. Woo! That was I scary. I don't like that swinging. Oh, I don't like that. Nope. Ah. Nah, me neither. It's nice ah, out what? here. What? Oh, it's breezy. At least it's breezy. You do not do it right there. You just fall. It is hot. You can be right here. Mom. Oh, it's lining! Zipline in. You guys should go do that. That's really fun. No, no I'll stick with the one. I like ziplining. I'll stick so. with the one that's at the festival. At the festival. Is it Are you being me? Hey, pretty girl. What is it? How's that mean? back there with them. Hi guys. I was talking to Katie. Hi, Katie. Tay! They always do that. So we're back here at the cabin, and as usual, I like to give my at least yearly, if not semi-yearly, uh, clinic tutorial on how to build a self-starting fire with uh, a monkey and a dog as my sidekick. And? A and uh, a peacock, which by the way, we have a name for, which we will tell you in a latter video. You'll have to watch, uh, we think we've named the peacock, right? And mm -hmm. it's not an English name, folks. I'll give you that as a hint. It's not an English name. Let your imaginations run wild. Let's get it going in the comments. What you think is the name of, of uh, Mr. Peacock, Mrs. Peacock over here. It's, it's a female peacock, and we don't know it's got the coloring of the male, but it's all right. It's a female peacock. Okay, so guys, fire. Uh, instead of building a traditional kindling at the bottom sort of fire that you will find is often starved for oxygen, which a fire needs in order to roar, I found a tutorial for a self-feeding fire, which starts with the largest logs at the bottom, uh, and then positioning your logs 90 degrees, 90 degrees, moving to thinner, pieces, smaller pieces that you have to chop typically, up to smaller pieces and smaller pieces until you have nothing but shavings and stuff like at the babies. top. Right, yeah, little baby pieces of wood. That is your initial kindling. So that is what starts the fire, initially feeds the fire is that kindling. And as it burns down, the larger and larger pieces catch on fire. Uh, and it really overcomes one of the main issues, which is, which is getting your fire started. That can often be difficult. Again, self-feeding fire, and this is the only way to go. Uh, and just to make things a little easier, even easier, I light it up with this puppy.
Okay, as you can see, as the stuff on top starts to burn, the next level catches. I can actually smell the next level catching, and uh, it's starting to grow. The fire is getting taller. It's feeding itself. It's just brilliant. I struggled for years to make fires. Didn't know what I was doing. Didn't feel like a dad. And then YouTube saved me. Thank you, YouTube. And kids, don't do this at home. At least not without an adult present to help you. By the way, we're fully aware that it is summer. Not the time you would typically have a fire. Mm -hmm. But we still wanted to do one anyways. It's kind of hard to go to the cabin without building a fire. And it's there's too many bugs outside to do it outside. So we're doing it inside. I think they're going to roast a few marshmallows. Right? You're going to roast some marshmallows? Yeah. And we got the fire set and the chocolates and the marshmallows. And so the graham what? cracker. So, and the jam sack and what? Do get working. Let's go get working. He's turning into a vlogger. Let's get down to it. Are you gonna roast marshmallows? No, you're not gonna roast marshmallows. You're gonna watch from a safe distance with daddy. Wow. What a fire. That's a that's a beautiful fire there. I don't know who did that. <laughs> daddy did it. Daddy did it. Okay, thank you, somebody. Thanks for watching, Zoo Family. We genuinely hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you soon.